In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix four four errors in WordPress, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. Two ways to deal with 404s. One is to have them automatically redirected when they're discovered on your page using a plugin. And the other is doing them manually after they've been found using a 301 redirect in an HD access file. So for the plugin version, let's go to plugins and then add new and then search simply for 404. And out of these top two plugins, I've been a tutorial for both of them, I believe. Links in the description down below. These will detect 404s, and when they happen, they will automatically redirect those 404s to a page you specify, usually your homepage. And then they will notify you that there is a 404. Then you can go in and decide whether you want to redirect them to a page that's better suited for that 404. And those make it really easy. Those will redirect 404s before Google finds them. As soon as a person lands on them, that's not true. A Google bot may land on a 404, but once the website or the plugin notices a 404 is generated, either by a person or by a Google bot, it will redirect that instantly to wherever you choose. Now, even using one of those plugins, you may find 404s in your Google Search Console. I have a bunch of 404s on my site here because I haven't done my 404 cleanup in a very, very long time. And 404s just happen. It's, it's a regular part of a website life cycle. 108 soft 404s. The soft 404 means that Google didn't find any content on the page, but the website said the page loaded. So the page was given a 200 status, which means it loaded, but Google didn't see anything, so they labeled it soft 404. A hard 404 is not found, which means the page shows a 404 and it actually is a 404. So if we, if we go through these, there's a whole bunch I could clean up here, which I should. But this one that sticks out right here, Terms of Use. That's the page that should be on my site. If I click on this link, it should take me to the Terms of Use page. However, it is a 404. And if I scroll down, I see my new page is called Terms of Service. So that could be where the error is. Yes, yeah, so Terms of Service is the page. Terms of Use is the old one. Generating a 404, we click on Linked From. We can see it's linked from a lot of different places. So how do we fix this? Well, the best way, I think, is an HT Access. You don't need an extra plugin for this. You just need an FTP client or access your site through the file manager, whichever you're more comfortable with. I'm going to use FTP in this case. I'm going to open my HT Access file in Sublime Text. I'm going to go right down to the bottom, add some white space so you guys can see what's going on here. And I'm going to type in redirect. 301 space. We take the slug of the page that can't be found and we put it into the 404 terms of use like this and then we get the URL of the page we want to redirect to which in this case is terms of service. So we copy that, paste it in here, get rid of the extra white space down below if you have any because that can cause problems. I just used it so you could see the code better. Now if I click on, I save the file, upload complete. If I click on this now, it should redirect me. Here's terms of use trying to load and it's now redirected to terms of service. And that's how we do a 301 redirect to fix a 404 error. We can mark this as fixed and mark this as fixed is okay. And now we have that 404 taken care of. And you can go through all of your 404s and fix them the exact same way. You either pick a place to send them, or if it's a page you want to create, you didn't create the page. So for example, this page right here, web page speed test to ping DOM results. If you wanted this to, if you, if you wanted to fix this, you could either redirect it to a different page using the process we just made, we just did, or create a page with that slug. And to do that, we just go into the website, go into the dashboard, First, let's uh, click on it in here, open it, and we'll prove that it's a 404, and it is. I'm gonna take this slug up here, it's gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to Pages, and then Add New, and I'm gonna call this page what the slug is. 
Let's update the capitalization a bit. Put that as a text, click on publish. And now if we go back out here, refresh this page, it will no longer be a 404. I recommend you add more content than that. That's not quite going to cut it, but this is another way we can fix a 404. We create the actual page that is being, or that is missing, that is being looked for. When we have that done, click on mark as fixed, click on OK, and then go through and fix every other 404 in the Google Search Console. And keeping on top of this helps your rankings. I have not been keeping on top of it, as you can see, and this is a job to do for the weekend or whenever I have spare time which is kind of never. That's why this isn't being done. And that's how we fix 404s. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.